Now this morning, people in our area with family and friends in Ukraine and Russia are watching the developments closely. CBS News' Andrea Grimes has been hearing from them. She joins us live from Sheep's Head Bay, Brooklyn, with more this morning. Andrea? Chris and Mary, so many strong ties to Russia and Ukraine here in Sheepshead Bay and neighboring Brighton Beach, two neighborhoods in particular with large populations from that region. You can only imagine how they're feeling watching all of this play out. While military tensions escalate a world away, here in Brooklyn, concern intensifies for New Yorkers with loved ones in Ukraine. This weekend, we spoke with people at Rondell Ukrainian Restaurant. I'm really worried because I have all my family has lived there. My mom and my sister live there. And I hope that uh, God will be with us and with our family there. That's all many people here can do, worry and wait. Councilwoman Ina Vernikov represents Brooklyn's District 48, where she says more than half of the constituents are from the former Soviet Union, which includes Ukraine. She immigrated to the U.S. at the age of 12 from Ukraine and still has friends there. They are disheartened about what's going on. Uh, they are ready to do whatever they can to defend their country. I feel that right now, Russian President Putin really sees the Biden administration as a continuation of the Obama era foreign policy. I think that he sees the leadership as very weak. I think that sanctions are way overdue. I think they should have been uh, imposed yesterday. The Biden administration has alerted U.S. companies of potential cyber attacks from Russia if the U.S. does impose sanctions. Yesterday, Governor Hochul reviewed cybersecurity preparedness with her cabinet leaders, saying, quote, the reality is that because New York State is a leader in the finance, healthcare, energy, and transportation sectors. Our state is an attractive target for cyber criminals and foreign adversaries. Meantime, in Yonkers, Ukrainian Americans gathered at St. Michael's Church yesterday for a special prayer service led by the Bishop of the Stamford Diocese of the Ukrainian Catholic Church. The mobilization of the troops, that's up to the government and to the military, but we're organizing, uh, mobilizing the people to pray. And Governor Hochul is also reminding New Yorkers that cyber attacks could come to your own personal devices. So she's reminding folks to make sure that their password security, uh, security updates are used and up to date. And also a reminder to make sure that older New Yorkers are free from scams should they happen as all of this plays out over the coming days. Reporting live in Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. Andrea, thank you.